Hey there, second graders. Today is the last day that we're taking notes and building the last page of our accordion book. What we're talking about today is how plants protect Earth's soil. Soil is the ground beneath our feet. Some call it dirt. Um, it's the top layer of Earth's surface. It's soil. It's very important because plants grow in it, but plants also protect it. They protect it in multiple ways. Before we get into the nitty gritty, what I want you to do is, if you are making the accordion book with me, we're going to make our last page and attach it. Now I've done this three times already. This will be my fourth time making this page. Um, if you had an adult help you make all four or all three after the first day at once and you have yours prepared already, you can skip forward. If you're someone who is not making the book, which is totally fine and you're just taking notes, you can also skip forward while I go through the making and connecting process. After I made the big triangle, I make the smaller triangle. After I make the small triangle, I unfold it and refold it into a rectangle. And then fold that rectangle in half to be a square. After I've done that, I unfold and do this process where the one end is pointing down, I flatten it and then bend it back like that, and then I do the other side. Flatten, press that crease down, bend it back on this other crease so that this top part bubbles up and is ready to be smushed squish or whatever you want to call it. Now this piece has been made. When I make this piece today, I need to have this open part aimed up. And then I'm going to take yesterday's plants are important um, book the last, the bottom of my book right now is Animals Use Plants. So I need this bottom aimed down towards the bottom of this piece. So the open part is going to be at the top behind here. So I'm going to put glue on this and then attach it. Glue, glue, glue. to attach it. So, I'm taking my book. I'm going to match the bottom edges up and then use my hands to smooth it. I can press the whole book together now. That should be finished. And squeeze it so it's nice and attached. The whole book is coming together. If you're making it with me, you'll see it's pretty fun to play with once it's done. Okay, so now I'm opening up to these three sections. This is from yesterday. So remember in the bottom section, I'm going to title what we're talking about today, which is that plants protect Earth's soil. Plants protect. I'm using green to write the word earth. And then I'm using brown again to write soil small because soil is made up of lots of small pieces. And then I'm just going to do some dots to show that it's dirt. And if you feel like it, over to the side you could use blue to make a circle and then do some swirly lines to make it look like earth. 
plants protect Earth's soil. Now I have the left and the right. On the left, what I want to do is write three words. These are three new words to you. The first one is weathering. I will explain this word. It has the word weather in it, so you can probably guess what it has to do with. And then on the crease, I'm going to write causes. That means makes happen. Weathering, causes, and then down here I'm writing E-R-O-S-I-O-N, erosion. Weathering causes erosion. Let me explain this to you. To start, I am going to draw a little piece of land, so I'm going to use brown. And my piece of land is going to be kind of high. Underneath my piece of land, I'm going to do water. So this is at like maybe an, a river's edge or an ocean's edge. Maybe draw some waves here. And I'm going to draw a couple of lines showing wind. So to make a wind line, I do a little swirly like this. So the wind's blowing, I could do some raindrops. Um, I could do a snowflake. Weathering is when the weather impacts a piece of land and it starts to break parts of it away because it's blowing on them hard, blowing on it hard, or the rain is pulling the soil off Weathering is the impact that weather has on land. And weathering actually causes what we call in the scientific world erosion. So down here I'm going to draw the same piece of land, but instead of drawing it full like I did before, I'm going to make it scraggly looking and flatter. Because erosion is when pieces of the land, the soil is taken away and it causes the land to become smaller, to become less than it was before. This is erosion. Weathering, when the weather impacts a piece of land, it causes erosion. It eats away at the soil. I can put a little wind line to show that the wind's still blowing. And I mean, if it keeps eroding, and it gets worse and worse. Eventually, there's not going to be any soil left. It would take a long time, but that's how it would be. Now, over to the right, I'm going to show how plants help with this whole thing. I'm going to use, I guess, the same color. And on the side, I'm going to say plants. This word is on the crease. Prevent, prevent, plants prevent erosion. E R O S I O N. And then in the middle, I'm going to draw the same piece of land. That's nice and high. I will draw my waves and water underneath. I will draw my wind lines and my raindrops up high, maybe a snowflake. But instead, this time, I'm going to fill this piece of land with plants. So on the edge, I might have moss growing. Um, here I might have some grass. And then I'm definitely gonna have some trees. Plants prevent erosion. Plants stop erosion from happening because they act like a shield for the soil. Their roots are planted deeply in it and they hold it together and they protect it from the wind and from the rain and from the snow, from water. 
they act like a buffer. They protect the soil so that weathering is still going to happen, but the erosion part, the part where the earth gets eaten away, does not happen because they're kind of holding it together. They're protecting it. That's how plants protect earth's soil. Thank you for sticking with me. If you made every page of this book, if you took notes, you should have four different pages or four different topics in your notes. And our book is finished. Tomorrow we're going to use it to do something. So make sure you hold on to it. Nice job.